Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would touch on something that is near and dear to my heart, <laughs> and that is fiber thumbnails. If you think about it, if you are a consumer looking for a freelancer or someone to take on a project for you, and you're scrolling through thousands of freelancers in that space on Fiverr, what's the first thing or one of the first things that you're going to see and to catch your eye to click on that freelancer? One is probably going to be their price. Two is probably going to be their title, maybe. But I think the biggest thing that they're going to notice is your, is your thumbnail. And that is the thing that will catch their attention and have them or compel them to click on your, your gig. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to go through and uh, I'm going to give you some tips on creating a Fiverr thumbnail for free. So let's do it. Okay, so what I recommend using is Canva. And Canva is a free website where, well, there are two different levels to Canva. There's the free side, and then there is the pro side. And the pro is, I think, $119 per year. And I think that fluctuates depending on how many people you have on your team. But the majority of us just have us, right? We run the show. So I just go for the free side because there is a lot available on the free side that, um, you know, doesn't really hold me back from getting what I need to get done. So what we're going to do is go over to create a design, and we're going to go with custom dimensions. Now, Fiverr recommends that your thumbnails are 550 pixels wide and 370 uh, tall at minimum. So that's what we're going to start with. We're going to go create my new design. And Canva gives you all kinds of templates here. Uh, let's see if I can find one. And most of these look like they're free. It'll tell you if you hover over it, if, it, if the template is free. If we scroll down here, they just have tons and tons of free templates you can use. And of course, I can't find one right now. But if you hover over a template and it doesn't say free at the bottom right corner or there is like a little yellow tab, a gold tab that indicates that it's a pro template and you can't use it unless you have the pro membership. But we're not even going to use a template. We're just going to choose a nice background color. And there's all of these background templates that you can use to all of these photos that you can use. We're just going to go with a solid color. Let's go, uh, that's a little bit too loud. Let's go, um, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's create our own. Let's do a new color. Let's go for something very subtle, uh, not really pink. Let's go with, um, let's try to get like a light purple, maybe. Hmm. Um, Okay, well, let's just go with this color. And then I'm going to upload an image. Just uploaded a picture I have of myself with the background removed. Let's just put that in the bottom corner. And the one thing that I do want to point out is that everything that goes on to Fiverr, um, the audio and the pictures tend to get compressed quite a bit. And if you look at Fiverr and some of the gig thumbnails there, you'll see these people that have these beautiful thumbnails, but then they're all kind of like the very edges are all cut off. So try if you can to get your most important elements away from the edges. So like if I, if I don't want to put my face like that because I know once I actually upload it, it's, you know, it's going to have some of my face cut off. So I'm going to try to get it off the edge a little bit and have me more closer to the middle. And the same goes with your text. And you add text. Let's see. Let's do, let's do something cool looking, but professional looking. That's cool, but that's hard to read. 
Let's just throw this in here. And you can change the colors of this too. So I want my text to be close to the middle because I know that the top, like the, all of the edges are going to be kind of reduced or cut off. But I don't want it completely over my face either. So let's shrink this down a little bit and put this kind of right there. And then to change the text, all you need to do is double click it. And let's just go American. No, actually, let's just do voiceover. I don't know if I like that, but let's change the colors and see if I like that a little bit better. Let's go. Red's going to be loud. Mm, I don't like this. Let's start with something different. Let's go. This is what I was telling you before. The, the elements that are provided to you that you cannot have for free will be indicated with a little crown as pro. Let's use this one. So I'm going to change this to... American female, and let's reduce this a little bit, drag it out so American female fits in there. I'm going to get rid of this extra text. Stop it. All right, let's move this over here. Right in the center. And then if we wanted to, we can add some effects to this. We can give it a little bit of shadow. That's cool. We can change the color of the shadow just to give it a little bit more definition. I want something that kind of stands out, but it looks a little bit fun to show a little bit of my personality. Let's do this one. I really like the colors. They kind of pop. So we're going to do 48 hour delivery. Of course, that is huge. So we're going to shrink that down a little bit. Oops. Let's see. Can we drag you? Can we drag? Can I? Dra yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's. There you go. 48 hour delivery. Let's do another one. I can drag this one back in here. Or I can copy this and then paste it so it's all the same size. And then we can just change the text to broadcast quality. And then we're going to pull this out so it all fits. And then I'm going to drag this over. And then I'm going to copy this and then paste it. And then let's see what my last one should be. Fast and friendly. Cool. All right. So you get the idea. Let's do, let's space these out a little bit so they look a little bit better. Just for giggles, I'm going to change this background to black and see how it looks. I kind of like that, but of course our title gets lost. So let's change the colors of this to, mm, let's try something. Now these are kind of hard to read. So let's see. Now these are kind of squished together looking. So what I'm going to do is take this and change the line height a little bit. There we go. So it looks a little bit more a little bit easier to read so they're not so squished together. There's a lot that you can do in here in Canva for free. It's pretty awesome. All right, so let's respace these out a little bit. Cool. I like that. It kind of pops. It kind of catches your eye. 
So that is basically how to make a gig thumbnail for Fiverr fairly quickly and for free. So, yeah. Cool. So there you go. That's how to make a Fiverr gig thumbnail fairly quickly. I mean, you don't have to do it the same way that I did it. This was just for fun, just to show you how quickly uh, you could make one. And um, no money out of pocket. All you need is, you know, a good picture of your face, a nice professional quality looking picture. And, you know, have some fun with it. Show your personality. Make it look professional and legible. But make sure you remember that, you know, the sides are kind of get either going to get squished in or cut off or both. So try to keep it simple, everything kind of towards the center, and um, just have some fun and test some out. You know, have, have a new picture on your gig and then let it sit for a couple of weeks and just kind of gauge how much attention that you're getting. And if you're not getting the attention that you want, change it again. You know, there's nothing that says that you can't. So, or have more than one picture. So you could try a few and see how they work. So if you have any other questions for me, then, you know, leave one down in the comment section below or send me an email. I always love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. I'd love to have you. And also for more information, check out my website at www.voiceoverangela.com. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.